All right, everybody. In this edition of Cops and Crime, Illinois edition, Chicago area news edition, former NFL player Sergio Brown's mother has been found dead in Maywood. According to WBBM, News Radio 780, and Channel 2, missing former NFL player Sergio Brown's mother has been found dead in a creek behind her Maywood home. And the search for him continues. The family of Brown and his mother, Myrtle, alerted police after they said they'd been unable to find or contact either of them, the Maywood Police Department said in a news release. Quote, Maywood police officers initiated a missing person report and began making attempts to locate both individuals, end quote, the news release said. Authorities searched a wide area and discovered Myrtle's unresponsive body near a creek behind her home, according to the Maywood Police Department. The Cook County Medical Examiner's Office determined that Myrtle, 73, had died from multiple injuries related to an assault, and the manner of death was classified as homicide, according to records obtained by WBBM. So at this point, we are on Tuesday, and this news broke on Sunday night, but it wasn't reported until Monday, and Mr. Brown is being searched for. Now, at this point, we haven't heard the authority say that he is a person of interest or if he's the initial suspect. But usually when you have domestic type situations like this, a mother and a son, you know, or a husband and a wife or a husband and a mother, whatever situation you have uh, familial wise, and one person's dead and the other person is missing, it's a pretty strong indication that the person who's missing is very much a suspect and very much will wind up being the perpetrator. Uh, in either event, it doesn't really matter because she's dead. Myrtle Brown is dead victim of an assault and if her son had anything to do with that hopefully the authorities will find him and if he's guilty hopefully he'll be uh, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and the other caveat to this people is it makes me wonder about cte right football players you know we had dave Duerson in chicago bears he wound up killing himself because his brain was going bad and after he died they went ahead and said he had cte uh junior seau hall of fame uh, Hall of Fame linebacker who actually won a uh, won a Super Bowl with the Patriots. He went ahead and played with most of his career with the San Diego Chargers. He went ahead and also killed himself because his brain was not functioning properly. And it turned out he had CTE. And of course, the most famous person in the NFL who had CTE would be Aaron Hernandez, right? He was found guilty of murder, acquitted another murder. Owen Lo Odin Lloyd was his friend and he went ahead and basically shot him because he was paranoid. And when he died, his brain was donated and they checked for CTE. And apparently he had like CTE, he was either three or four. It was like one of the one of the worst or the worst case that the examiners had ever seen of CET. So who knows if that's anything that has anything to do with this, you know. But at this point, we do know that former NFL player Sergio Brown um, is nowhere to be found. His mother, uh, Myrtle, rest in peace, was found a victim of a homicide. And when... You have situations like this, it's um, pretty easy to connect the dots that he is definitely, he hasn't officially been labeled by authorities in the media as being a suspect of a person of interest. Uh, you can be darn well sure that that's the direction authorities are leading in. Thanks for listening, and please check out not only the podcast, Cops and Crime, available worldwide. In every place you can go for iHeart, Amazon, Google, you name it, it's out there. As well as go, please go to ChicagoAreaNews.com and check out the latest stories where I'm going to have the stories posted. And then I'm going to go ahead and have these podcasts created and the links to them so you can listen to them as well.